Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Alinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Today we are going to look at our beautiful laying boxes we have finally reached this point of putting our laying boxes and i'm really super excited about it i think you can all see from my face i'm really super happy that we have reached this point for those who have started who started following these birds from the first day that i brought in the chicks you you guys you know how far we've come from and uh i'm really super excited that we have reached this point and uh this is where a farmer's happiness is. You know, when you're doing layers and you reach the point whereby you really see your birds are soon dropping eggs and you really get the pressure that you really need to put in the laying boxes, you know how happy you can be. Eh? For those ones who have done this project, you know how happy you can be. And for those who are planning to do this project, it is really one of the happiest moments for a farmer when the birds are really showing signs of starting to lay eggs. And I've got quite a number of you who promised me last year that this year they are soon they are starting poultry farming and i remember when we joined in 2024 most of you sent me messages that uh, you are willing to start this project in march so i'm still waiting for you by june july you should be able to also be putting these laying boxes and uh, i'm really super excited we have put it quite late because this is now they are now in their 18th week they have just joined the 18th week and uh, this is when i've put that laying boxes but uh, there's just something i want to discover if these birds can really adapt to the laying boxes even if it is put late it is not that uh i was relaxed or redundant on putting the laying boxes because if you can see at the background i really managed to use the available the available materials that i had around i did not spend any money buying anything for you for making these laying boxes i used what i had at my home the only money that i spent was uh, paying the person who made it but uh i took a bit long because there's something that i want to discover and later i will also tell you guys so that uh we don't be under pressure of putting these laying boxes so today i want us to look at some of the the tips that you need to know when you're constructing these laying boxes. I think you can see at the background, the side which I'm sitting is a bit dark. If it wasn't because of the light that I've put them on, I would be in a dark corner. So I want us to learn some of the tips and qualities of laying boxes. So for today, stay tuned till the end. But if you're still new, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video comment in the comment section down below and i'll be so grateful see you till the end So, as I told you earlier on, today I want us to look at some of the factors to consider when making these laying boxes. As you can see my laying boxes, which the corner that I have put it, first of all you must put it in a dark, in a corner which you see it is uh, kind of dark for the birds because these birds, they love laying their eggs where it is a bit dark for them i don't know whether i think they feel comfortable laying their eggs or they feel shy laying eggs in an open place so they feel comfortable laying their eggs in a corner which is dark so you must make sure that where your laying boxes are is in a, a place where it is not too much which, which is not having too much light which is somehow dark so i've decided to choose this side because uh, my light always come from this other side so i feel like when i put it this side uh, it will make it it inside the laying boxes will be dark and in fact inside the laying boxes are really so 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 dark if you can see i've put this stand here because uh the other the upper one is kind of very high for me 
to collect the eggs comfortably so i've decided to put this i'm going to just be stepping there and collect the eggs there comfortably and do you know that this bird they can reach up to there so comfortably even you can see others are busy standing and chilling from there they have really been coming inside the laying boxes checking what is going on and then another factor is that uh, inside your laying boxes should be comfortable enough for the birds so as you can see i have 10 rooms that is uh you can count down is five up is five eh? so inside those rooms are really very comfortable for these birds to lay their eggs i've also put in coffee ask to make the birds comfortable there when they drop the eggs and also the birds should be able to drop their eggs in a soft in a soft place so that is why i've put here two bags of coffee ask and uh inside it is really very very comfortable for the birds and this also makes our eggs really very clean because if you don't put in the bedding inside there you'll find that the birds will drop their eggs in a hardwood and uh the eggs will end up cracking or even uh they'll they'll also do a lot of poop there and then in the eggs you collect the eggs when they are very very dirty so you must make sure that inside the laying boxes are very comfortable with the comfortable beddings which when the birds drop in the eggs they will drop in a in a soft it will have a soft landing and in a in it will come out when they, they are still clean and then um when you're making your laying boxes make sure you make it in a way that uh it is easy and comfortable for you the farmer to collect the eggs because uh if it's not comfortable for you you know eggs are things which are very very delicate eh? anything slight happening to them they crack they break so uh anything knocking you you find that your eggs will fall down and break immediately so you should make sure that the the place where you've put the you should make sure that it is very comfortable for you the farmer to collect your eggs from your laying boxes that is why i decided to put this this board here i can climb it comfortably so comfortable and it's very strong for me uh to pick the eggs from there and even to pick the eggs from up here as a farmer your laying boxes must be very comfortable for you to pick your eggs and then also another thing is that uh, there is this downer part that was left of which i want uh the the person who made the laying boxes to come and work on it because I'm seeing most birds are really piling down there because it is even more darker for them. But I see it will disturb me in collecting the, the eggs. So I will make sure that I block this place whereby all the birds will not be able to access down there because I see once they start dropping, it's likely that most birds will drop from there and which I have no provision of going there to collect the eggs. So <laughs> always make sure that there's no entry to a corner that you cannot uh, uh, you as a farmer cannot access make sure there is no entry and even in such place when the birds lay eggs you find that it is the rat which will always eat those eggs eh? because uh i since i've still seen some stubborn rats that can access entering this farm from some some narrow corners they are still coming inside so either the eggs will get spoiled from down there or these funny rats will be the ones to eat the eggs so i'm going to make sure i work on that and um and and i and i block that place and then also another factor that you must consider is that um the laying boxes should be enough for all your birds now like for us here we have 400 birds but if you can see i have put 10 compartments and they are all very big and i'm very much sure that uh, it's going to be enough for all our birds well these birds don't lay at the same time but most of them will be laying in the morning hours but uh the ones we have put i'm much sure that it will be enough for this for these birds so please whenever you're making your laying boxes don't be mean to make a very very few very few compartments for your butt make sure they are enough for your butt to to get in there comfortably and lay the eggs then also inside the laying boxes should be comfortable for you the farmer 
for picking your eggs because uh, you find that sometimes there can be sharp nails there in that when you put in inside if you put your hands inside to pick the eggs you'll find that you come up you come you bring them out when the hands are bleeding or when you have a scratch on it so make sure that when they're making these laying boxes you always they are looking at the work that they are doing because they only know making the laying boxes but they don't know how to use it so they will some of these things that you go through they will not be there actually you don't even need to go to the workshop for these guys to make for you these laying boxes you should make it from home now like mine i really made them from home here i called the guy home because uh, i couldn't manage uh making it by myself so i called the guy home and i was there monitoring him each and every step actually i'm the one who directed him on uh, making it the way i've made this one so make sure you're always present and uh you don't really need a lot of money to make these laying boxes always use the available materials now like me i use the available materials which i had here at my home to make these laying boxes and um and make sure the birds can also access the laying boxes because as you can see i've put for them this uh this other part that they can jump in and first stand there observe what is going in, then they enter inside make sure your birds can easily access the laying boxes and it is um attractive for them to you know to go in there to lay the eggs and then about the light issue now you can see we have put our laying boxes in this corner whereby the it inside will be dark make sure behind the laying boxes there is no entry of light inside so because you find that sometimes now like my previous laying boxes that i had inside it had an issue whereby uh, if you if the if uh, time when the lights are too too bright you find it penetrates through and uh, these buds always when they see what they have laid they can start pecking on it make sure the inside it is really totally dark no light can penetrate through in that these birds are not even able to see what they have what they have laid because they are very stubborn when they see an egg they can start pecking on it you know it has it is the one that has laid it but you will be shocked that they will be the very one that will peck on the eggs and before you know it that is how they'll start eating off their eggs so um for today that is all i had for you but uh, you really don't need uh, a lot of money to make these laying boxes and um as a farmer if you see your buds um starting showing some of these signs you should be aware that uh, you should make these laying boxes well our buds here uh, are, re are really due to laying eggs because uh, we might not miss this week without getting at least an egg or two but uh, if we miss this week probably next week so as you see some of the signs of uh, the birds um really getting ready really getting ready to lay eggs always make sure that you put the laying boxes ready for them to lay their eggs so for today that is all i had for you thank you so much for watching me thank you so much for loving me and thank you so much for always coming back and if you're still new please consider subscribing to the youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below and i'll be so grateful see you next time love you all bye bye